are you doing? Uh, guys, last video I wrote a sentence in a sentence a word uh, it was an adjective, grandão and I told you that it was augmentative okay? so today the topic is augmentative and diminutive all right, in Portuguese so let's check them out I put here the normal adjective amigo, amiga, friend uh, masculine, feminine in Portuguese. The augmentative is amigão. If it's a woman, amiga, amigona, it changes on to ona. Alright? And the diminutive, amiguinho, amiguinha. Notice here, on is the augmentative, and usually inho or inha for the diminutive. Alright? So, animal, animal, animalão, a big animal, and the diminutive, animalzinho, right? Barraca, tent, barracão, a big tent, barraquinha, a small tent, boca, mouth, boca, bocarra, Bocão. This form here is the form that you find uh, and that is considered correct in the dictionaries, okay, in grammar, but nobody uses it, nobody says it, okay. So what you are going to hear is bocão, okay, bocão, a big mouth, and the diminutive boquinha, a small mouth. Beijo, beijo, kiss, beijo, beijão, a big kiss, beijinho, a little kiss, cabeça, head, head, cabeça, head, cabeção, a big head, cabecinha, a small head, copo, copo, glass, copão, a big glass, copinho, a small glass. Alright? So, just like bocarra, there are some words uh, in Portuguese, some nouns, that the augmentative and the diminutive are very formal, okay? Kind of uh, outdated, alright? So, they are considered correct. But you just find them in very fine works of literature, right? Nobody uses them on a daily basis and many people, I'm 100% sure, not even know what they mean, right? So, uh, usually the augmentative is on, if it's a man, ona, if it's a woman, okay? And the ones that uh, have both forms. These ones here don't, they only have one form, all right? So, masculine, and then you use um, okay? Sorry, animal is not only masculine, can be feminine and uh, masculine. Amigo, masculine, amiga, feminine, all right? So just add um, just add not. You cut like the in beijo, it ends in O, you cut that O out and add A O Q, okay? The little worm on top of it. And the diminutive is inho, if it's masculine, beijo, beijinho, kiss, little kiss, or inha, if it's feminine, cabeça, cabecinha. Okay, here we take this uh, last vowel out and you add, and also in this case, this is called cedilha, C, cedilha. You take the cedilha out, it's just the C, and you add inha, inha, cabecinha, a small head. Okay, guys, uh, I'll make another video with this uh, formal forms of the nouns so that you know 
how they are, uh, that they really exist, but as I said before, nobody really uses them. So don't uh, get, uh, you know, anxious about them because they are not really important for a real conversation. All right? Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you around.